Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jake Braun, and I'm joined here on the Averett University Sports Network. Tonight's matchup features Guilford College Quakers versus your Averett University Cougars. The Cougars are 0-3 on the season as Guilford is 1-2. So it'll be a very interesting matchup here tonight. Um, Avery University's men's basketball returns tonight to fa face a non-conference game against Guilford College. Uh, the Cougars are coming off a 67-66 loss in the final seconds of the Ferrum College game last Wednesday. Guilford is coming off its first win of the season, 57-51 victory over Greensboro College last Wednesday. Uh, the series between the Cougars and Guilford Coll College is 7-18 for Guilford. Uh, this dates back to 1982. Uh, the Quakers have won the last two meetings between the two teams, including a 61-76 victory in their last meeting of last year in November. Uh, the Cougars are coached by head coach. Excuse me. The Cougars are coached by head coach David Devino, and assisted by Brandon Baker. So the Cougars are coming off three losses to start off the season. Um, this will be a non-conference game, but you know, just winning this game for them tonight will bring up some really big energy for the team. I know I've talked to a lot of the guys off the court. And, you know, they they said, that, you know, the beginning of the season started off a little rough, but, you know, it's not what they wanted. But they say the team energy is just great, and they're just ready to get this season started and get into those big games. And I really think this will be a great competition between both teams here tonight. Being a student athlete and an aviation major uh, was actually a huge plus for me in deciding to come to Averitt. I looked into multiple schools, hundreds of schools actually, and um, Averitt just felt like home to me as soon as I stepped foot on campus. Um, as soon as I stepped foot in the airport and when I got on North Campus, it was just a great feeling. Um, very home-like feeling, especially being so far away from home, me being from Houston, Texas. I felt like it was amazing being able to kind of see the atmosphere that they had built here and the family and uh, really the community that they built here. You know, it really feels like you're being in a, in a, in a big neighborhood, kind of. Um, I really enjoy uh, my time here at Avery so far. And it, one of the biggest reasons that I picked Avery was because of me being able to do both being a student athlete and also uh, being able to fly planes. That's one of my, one of my, I think, favorite things to say to anybody when they ask me what my collegiate experience has been like. Um, I could definitely say, you know, I've been flying planes and playing football. There's not too many people in the country that could say that. All righty, as we are seconds away here from the game, my name is Jake Braun here on the Avery University Sports Network. I'm going to go over the starters for your Cougars here tonight. Starting in the point guard position is Keyshawn Lewis, the senior from Virginia Beach, as well as Jordan Lewis, the sophomore guard from Virginia Beach as well, as well as number 13, Corey Baldwin, the junior, who is also a guard from Henderson, North Carolina. Uh, number 32, Jalen Rowell. He's a senior senior guard from Norfolk, Norfolk Virginia. Excuse me. Uh, number 35, Miles Ma Pullen, a junior forward from Charlotte, North Carolina.
speed tonight. Starting lineups first for the visitors from Guilford. A senior guard from North Wilkesboro, North Carolina, number two, John Logan. A redshirt senior forward from Greensboro, North Carolina, number 12, Jalen Gore. A senior forward from Malvern, Pennsylvania, number 21, Liam Ward. A junior forward from Greensboro, North Carolina, number 23, Julius Birch. And a junior guard from Greensboro, North Carolina, number 34, Tyler Dearman. Alrighty, as we are a few seconds away here from the jump ball, once again, I am Jake Braun here on the Avery University Sports Network. As we are about to get underway from the Guilford College versus your Avery University Cougars here in the Grant Center at Avery University. Very exciting matchup we have tonight. The Cougars are 0-3 as well as Guilford is 2-1. And, and it looks like it will be pulled in on the jump as Guilford gains possession here. Ball when playing good defense up on guard as Guilford scores their first bucket of the night. That's by Birch. That was Birch, the junior forward for Guilford. Lewis now has a ball at the top of the key. Good screen there by Bolden. Baldwin, good pump fake there. Got the defense off their feet. Lewis for three. Off the mark. Rebound by Guilford. That'll be Ward. Good rebound there. Gore now has the ball. Good defense by Lewis. Baldwin top of the key on Guilford. Looks like there will be a double dribble call there on Deerman. That'll be Tyler Dearman, the junior for Guilford. Averett will now retain possession as Lewis, excuse me, Jordan Lewis brings the ball up the floor. Raul now has the ball at the top of the key. Passes to Baldwin. Tip there by Guilford. Good possession there by Baldwin. Got the defense doubling Baldwin. Raul open in the paint. Travel call there. That will be on Rao. Seems like he did not like the call there. Good pump fake to the corner. Left him tons of space, but I believe the ref just saw one extra step there in his stride. Being inbounded now by Guilford. This will be brought up the floor by Deerman. He passes now to Gore. Gore brings the ball up the floor. Good defense here by the Cougars in the early going. Really applying the pressure. You see Baldwin pass the top of the key. Inside now, outside of Ward on the three. Drives inside. That will be off the mark, rebounded by Guilford. Good shot fake there by Dearman. As Guilford now kicks it back out, shot clock reset to around 14 seconds. Good attempt there by Gore as it will go. Lewis now bringing the ball to the left side of the court. Holden sets a good screen there. He's doubled. Pass to Lewis. Baldwin in the corner. Brings it up to the top of the key. Good three there. Off the mark. Allison Jason Rowell. 
That's Corey Baldwin at the top of the key, off the mark, rebounded by Guilford. Now being brought up the court by Dearman. Tight defense here by Baldwin. Had his pass to Gore. Gore feeds it inside. Up for the two is Birch, I believe. Kruger's on a rough go in here. Good defense, though, as Guilford just getting through. Rowell now on the left side. Pass to pulled in. Stole there by Birch. Excuse me, Deerman, as he is up for a layup. And that one's off the mark. Rebounded by Guilford. That was Logan for the two. Seems like a little miscommunication here from the Cougars in the early going. Around 16 minutes left here in this first half. He's pulled in, passes the ball when Baldwin has it at the top of the key. Dribble drive. It's up, and that will be a charge call on Baldwin as he drove to the paint. Good take there by, I believe, that was Ward. Does not seem like the Cougars like that call there. Subbing in for the Cougars now is Jason Sellers, the second, as well as Rajah Milton and Jem Lawrence. Keeping the Cougars fresh off the bench. Guilford also had a sub. That would be Jordan Davis, the junior. Good pump fake inside. Ward has it on the left block. Up strong with it and in for two. It is now a 10 to nothing lead here in the early going for the Cougars. That'll be Sellers in the paint. Good pass there to Baldwin off the mark on the layup. Baldwin playing heavy defense on the full court here. Really trying to force that man to go left and right. As well as good defense there. Jordan Lewis causing a turnover. Good pick up there by Milton. As he drives down the court, nothing there. Baldwin for three. Bang! And that one is good, giving the Cougars the first points of the game. Really good ball movement there from the Cougars. As this is now Davis bringing the ball up the court. Passes the Gore. Gore at the top of the key, guarded by Milton. Good pass there to Ward. Ward is then fouled there. I believe that was Sellers the second. A little shove there underneath. And we'll go to a replay real quick here on that foul under the basket. Excuse me, this would be Baldwin's three. Great shot there. Good ball movement there from the Cougars as they were really able to pass that around and get the ball down the floor and catch Guilford's off, off their feet there and, you know, find a wide open shot. You know, that's... That's Corey Baldwin's shot right there is that mid-range, a three-point shot. He can hit that all night if they give him enough space. So good job there by him. And we'll be right back after the break. I think Averitt's a special place because of the camaraderie amongst everybody. Uh, I feel like it's a lot of friendships that won't be broken throughout my life. And it gave me a chance to... Uh, show my abilities in wrestling and in the classroom. Alrighty, as we are back from the break, my name is Jake Braun, and you're joined here on the Averett University Sports Network. We just came off of a break where Ward got fouled under the basket by Sellers a second. Guilford now will be the inbound to Ward in the corner. Good D there. Goes up, and it's short. Rebounded by Guilford and threw out of bounds, but off the hands of the Cougars. It will be Guilford under the basket once again. Shot clock at 19 seconds. While in timeout, it seems like Bryce Shaw, the freshman guard, checked in the game for the Cougars. Ball passed into the top of the key to Logan. Logan passes to Davis to Ward in the corner. 
trying to post up Sellers the second. Gets enough room from the line. It drops. Ward really working hard for these baskets out here in the early going. As this will be Milton bringing it up the right side of the court. Let's see if the Cougars can find a wide open shot here, just like they did in the last possession. Ball win now has possession at the top of the key. Finds Milton for three. Off the mark. Good hustle there by the freshman. That'll be Shaw able to get that rebound back for the Cougars, giving them an, another opportunity as the shot clock resets. Let's see Milton at the top of the key. He passes to Lawrence. Baldwin, far pass. Good ball movement here by the Cougars. That'll be Shaw to Baldwin. After the shot clock, Baldwin was not able to get it up and it rimmed out. So Guilford will now retain possession here with only 14 minutes left to go in the first half. Checking back in for the Cougars is Polden. Really big factor for them. He's a very tall big man for the Cougars. Gains a lot of boards every game. This is Shaw playing extra hard defense here. Now you see that out of the Cougars. Cougars they have very aggressive defense and tries to throw the other team off as Ward gets another basket. Absolutely just killing it in the paint down there. Cutting and finding open ways. As this will be Milton on the left side of the court. Passes to Shaw. Back to Milton. Little handoff pass there. Milton now gets a screen from pulled in. Loses track of the ball. Passes to Shaw. Shaw drives. Loses it. And that will be off the hands of Shaw, I believe, and out of bounds. Guilford now retains possession. It seems like the Cougars are just not playing their pace tonight. I believe they're playing a little too fast, losing their man on defense. I feel like the Cougars just need to slow down a little bit and just play their own game. As Middleton now picks up full court defense here on the Guilford. Speed Gore bringing the ball up the court. Good dish up there by da to Davis. Ward outside on the wing, guarded by Sellers a second. Drive to the paint. Shot is up and off. Rebounded by Corey Baldwin. Corey Baldwin now doubles down the court. They do not have any numbers down under the basket. As Baldwin pulls up from mid-range. That one's off the mark. Good rebound there by Polden, just how I talked about earlier. Good mid-range there from Middleton, and that one's in. Milton, an excellent ball handler as well as a defender. Great shot there from the mid-range as Davis now passes out to Dearman as Dearman now hits a three from the top of the key. Cougars now bringing the ball up the court. That'll be Milton as Ward gets a wide open steal down the court and dunks it. There will now be a 30-second timeout call here for the Cougars and we'll be back after the break. Being a student athlete here has definitely pushed me to do things that I have not been able to do in the past. Um, because of my team, I have opened up more socially and they have pushed me to be a better athlete and a better student. And I wouldn't be who I am today if it weren't for them. Alrighty, and coming out of the break, it seemed like the Cougars there were in a good huddle, trying to get their team rabble together there by Coach Duino. And, you know, 
I feel like their number one objective right now is just to stop Ward, the 6'6 senior from Guilford, is just absolutely dominating under the basket. Cougars now bring down the ball. This will be Lewis on the left side. Pass to Polden. Polden now trapped at the top of the wing. Nobody passed to. Good pass there. Gets it to Rowell. And that one is kicked off a Guilford leg and out of bounds. Substitution I missed here in the timeout. That will be Orboto Watson now checking into the game for the Cougars. The sophomore forward standing at 6-7. Good drive here by Lewis. Now kicks it out to Polden. Polden passes back to Lewis. Lewis sees a man open. The shot is up. And off the mark. Great shot selection there by Jordan Lewis, the sophomore. Ball now brought up the court by Gore. Gore having a pretty good night so far with two assists to Ward. Good shot there by 34. That will be in. That was Deerman left wide open here on this right side. Does not seem like the type to shoot, but he lets it fly, and it's been good two times now. This pass to Rowell is a good screen there from Watson. So this one's to Lewis as he pulls it back out and sets it back up. It's going to be pulled at the top of the screen. going to be a foul on Guilford on the floor. I believe that was on Deerman, the junior. Checking back in the game is Sellers. Jason Sellers, the sophomore forward, standing at 6'6", is from Greensboro, North Carolina. Big impact here for the Cougars, especially down underneath the basket. Great postman and rebounder here in the Grand Center. As Polden has the ball at the top of the key, passes back to Lewis. Lewis at the top of the key trying to find an open man. Drive by Lewis is off the mark, and Guilford will retain possession as they have a man open in the corner. That'll be a drive by Deerman, kicks it out. And that'll be a three good there from Proctor. Luke Proctor, number 15, the freshman guard for Guilford. Guilford absolutely shooting the lights out. The Cougars got to do something about it. It's Lewis now. Dribble drive. Kick out to Rowell. Rowell for three. In and out goes the ball, but there will be a foul called on the court. I believe that was Proctor on the foul. Rowell will now shoot. Three foul shots, I believe. Coming into tonight's game, Coach... Excuse me. Coming into tonight's game, Coach Duino has 94 overall career wins, just three away from beating the school record in career wins. So props to him as he will probably achieve that goal sometime this year. As the Cougars are rolling through the season quite fast. As the first shot there, and I believe the second was good by Rao. As well as the third. Good job here by the Cougars. On the offensive side, really picking it up, trying to stay with Guilford. As they're doing a great job from beyond the arc. As this is now Davis. Davis passes inside to Deerman. Deerman passes into Invisible Man, and that will be out of bounds. believe he thought he had a man on that right block, and there was just nobody there. Great defensive possession there by the Cougars. This will be Lewis now bringing the ball up the court to Baldwin. Baldwin at the top of the key. Swishing things up to Polden in the corner. Back to Baldwin. This will be Raul. Good ball movement here by the Cougars. Screen there by Sellers. Polden now pushes it inside. Baldwin tries to go up with it, and it is stripped. Guilford will retain possession. That was a steal there by Jordan Davis, the junior. As Proctor now has it at the top of the key, the freshman. Deerman now on the left side. Good defense there by Lewis, and Lewis gets a steal down the court, and the layup is good. Good, good defense there by Jordan. Lewis is able to rip the defender and grab a steal as Rowell now is playing hard defense here on this freshman from Guilford. Lewis back on defense once again on Deerman. Deerman gives the ball up, not wanting to get ripped once again as Davis has this one on the right wing. Guarded here by Baldwin, and that will be a push-off. Good sell out there by Baldwin. 
as Davis gave him a little too much elbow room there in the face, and that will be an offensive foul on Guilford. Checking back in for Guilford now is Joe, excuse me, Joe Logan as well as Ward. That would be Liam Ward. Lewis now hands it off to Baldwin. Baldwin switching things up at the top of the key, loses it but regains possession. It's be Rao on the wing. Screen set by Sellers a second. Lewis now good dribble drive. Rao good pump fake off the feet. Behind the back pass to Lewis. Lewis now has the ball. Screen by Sellers. That one will be tipped off of the hands of, I believe that was off the hands of Liam Ward, but then... I believe Lewis tried to regain possession as it is out of bounds. And Guilford now has possession once again. Good defense here by the Cougars. Rao really playing up into these guards, trying to get those rips. Good pass there. That's a three for Davis off the mark. Good rebound there by Sellers. Tipped out of bounds by, I believe that was Ward. But Cougars will still gain the possession. Shot missed there was by Jordan Davis. Great pass there by Birch to a wide open man on the wing. Shot just off the mark. Lewis now has the ball on the right side of the wing. Pass to Baldwin at the top of the key. Baldwin dribble drives. Pass out to Paulden. Off the mark, off the hands of, I believe, Guilford, and that's out of bounds. Cougars will now have possession with eight seconds to go here on the shot clock. Coach Duino really cheering on his guys here, trying to get something going here in this late part of the first half as Lewis now dribble drives finding Raul but the pass is a little too high and this one's all over the place Sellers now gains possession back out to Raul Corey Baldwin in the corner for three bang good there by Baldwin really great job there and great hustle there from the Cougars diving on the floor getting that ball Good possession there by Sellers as Baldwin rips the ball down court and the layup is good. Great mo movement here, momentum here by the Cougars as Guilford College now calls timeout. Baldwin absolutely killing it on the court right now as well as Sellers. Guilford really trying to slow down this defense and we'll be right back after the break. What makes Avery special to me is the family oriented and diverse background and communities. Here at Averitt, we believe in one family, one team philosophy. As an RA, being able to guide people in the right direction and building a community helps me develop leadership. Also, being a leader on the football team and captain, it helps me guide people to be better each and every way. All righty, and we're going to take a look at Corey Baldwin's three in the corner. As you can see, he just gets up. Pass there to Rao. Rao pump fakes. Good shot there. And bang, Corey Baldwin drops the bucket from the left corner. Absolutely great possession there by the Cougars. Really doing a good job just to get the ball at any way possible. You saw Sellers laying out on the floor just trying to get that ball, and as well as Baldwin in the corner ripping it from Proctor, actually. Great job there. As we come out of the timeout there from Guilford College, Averett University has a great momentum push right here on Guilford. Started out the game 12 to nothing and have really battled their way back into this one as it is now an 11 point game. Good defense there by Lewis as well as Rao. Called foul there, swipe on the arm. That will be on number 32, Jalen Rao the senior guard out of Norfolk, Virginia. Seems like they have uh, Sellers guarding, I believe that's Ward. Ward probably 
being their number one go-to guy right now in that paint as having around 8 to 10 points just on the night. Good pass inside there. And that one's off the mark. Corey Baldwin with the rebound, absolutely killing it on all sides of the floor. Trying to find an open man. Baldwin, good pass there to Lewis. Lewis now dribbles around, hand off to Raul. Raul loses control, but maintains it. Back to Raul. Good shot there, pull up. That's off the mark, gets his own rebound. Little miscommunication there from two of the Cougar players. Ripped by Lewis. Great block there by Rao, but a foul is called. Oh, my goodness. What an absolutely fantastic possession there for Rao. Lost it on the dribble, gave it up, and hustled back to get the block. But unfortunately, there was a foul called. I believe his body went into the player as they went up for the shot. Great hustle play there, though as that one is no good. I will say the classic ball termina terminology, and that ball does not lie. As this is Logan shooting his two foul shots. And the second one good, as Lewis now brings the ball to the left side of the court. Raul now brings it around. Finds Paulden on the right side, excuse me. Baldwin to Lewis in the corner. Baldwin cuts through. Sellers looking for that post entry there. Good layout there. An absolutely fantastic effort there by Logan. Going to get that ball, but it was not just not enough. Checking back in is Keyshawn Lewis, the senior out of Virginia Beach. Baldwin now inbounds to Lewis. Shot from Lewis is off the mark, but I believe there was an illegal screen there by Sellers, the second. And that will give the possession back to Guilford. This will now be Gore bringing the ball up the court. Pass to Deerman. Deerman now has it at the top of the key. Rough pass there to Birch. Gore now down back to Birch through his hands. Seemed like he slipped a little bit on the floor right there. Seems like the Cougar player is making sure the floor is not too wet. That's the last thing you want on the court. As Milton now checks back into the game for the Cougars. The Cougars now Excuse me, Guilford now leads by 12 points here in the last six minutes of this first half. Great screen there by Raul. Has it at the top of the key. Pass to Lewis. Baldwin in the corner. Baldwin drives up with it strong. No contact as Ward gets the block. And now Ward up. Good job there by Milton. As Raul saves that one from going out of bounds, but it did not seem like he was even close to stepping on the line. Tried to throw it back in bounds and got it off, but apparently was stepping out of bounds on the play. Great job there by Milton, really going up to get that one. As Ward is a 6'6 body, You're flying through the air, and Milton just not the same size, but great hustle there, able to come down with that ball. Ward now has it in the paint, goes up with a good post hook there from about the free throw line, and it's good. This is now going to be Milton bringing the ball up the court on the left side. Baldwin now at the key. This will be Milton for three. Bang! Milton's first shot of the night is good. Good aggressive defense here from the Cougars. Great hustle there from Milton as he has tipped that one out of bounds. Taking some time off the shot clock here for Guilford. They will now have it on our side of the sideline. It's now inbounded to Gore. Gore now brings down the court. Guilford playing hard defense here. Able to turn it over. Baldwin picks this one up. They have numbers. Milton once again, 4-3. Off the mark. Good rebound there by Ward. One-on-one -on -one down the court. Milton absolutely gets elbowed in the head. 
and is down, but gets right back up, drawing the charge there from Gore. We're gonna get a replay here of Milton's three just a second ago. Great shot set up there. That left-handed shot is just so beautiful to me. Milton really doing everything now on the court, getting back on defense, getting back on offense, and draining some threes. It's Milton down the court now. Pass to Sellers. Ward sells out for a steal and does not get it, but off the hands of Sellers. Cougars now retain possession. This is Milton on the right side of the key. Good pass fake there as he dribble drives. Corey Baldwin in the corner for three. Bang! That one's good. Corey Baldwin absolutely shooting the lights out. Cougars are now demanding to come back from this lead. Absolutely giving everything they got. Good defense here by Baldwin on Deerman. Back to Deerman now. Drives on Sellers. Sellers goes up. Good block there. Corey Baldwin snags a rebound. Now bringing the ball up the court. Looking, surveying the floor. Milton now. Good pump fake there. Finds Rao. Open for three. Bang! Cougars absolutely shooting the lights out. Are you kidding me? Corey Baldwin, Milton, and Rao just absolutely going crazy. And we will be back after the break. For me, it was important to leave home and experience new cultures and uh, travel while I'm young um, before I settle down um, and be comfortable in my own skin. And every university has really helped me develop as a person and be more outgoing. All right, as we are back from the break, Cougars absolutely pushing through here in great momentum here, making back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back threes. Not exactly sure what happened there, I believe. I believe the Guilford guard was tripped up there by Rao, but there was not a lot of contact there as both players hit the ground. As Milton now picks back up on Gore. Milton, a junior from Charlotte, North Carolina, absolutely doing a great job surveying the floor and finding open men. As Baldwin now gets a rip, assisted there by Lewis. Bringing the ball on the floor. to be Lewis, deep three off the mark. Good rebound attempt there by Lewis. They do not want Ward bringing the ball up the court. Gets it out of, gets it out of there real quick. As Gorn out highs this one at the top of the key. Right side here by Davis. Passes to Ward. Ward posting up Rao. Good size difference there. And Milton strips him and just brings the ball down the court. Cougars do not have numbers. Milton tried to force a pass into there to Sellers. And it's a good steal there by Davis. Seemed like Milton almost telegraphed that pass there, almost telling Guilford it was coming. This good defense there by Davis. This is now Gore on the right side, dribble driving. 
knocked out of bounds and down. Got the pass off to Davis in the corner. As now Davis pulls up from deep. That will be off. Great rebound there by Sellers. Really pushing his man out of the paint there and wanting that rebound. Milton now calls timeout. Cougars went out to take a 30-second timeout. If you have time and you're willing to, go check out Avery University Sports Network's Twitter. Where we will be posting replays as well as stats and halftime half -time stats and scores. Cougars doing a great job here. You know, coming out of the first quarter, or first half, I should say, uh, first, four, first four minutes, excuse me, it was 12 to nothing in favor of Guilford, and the Cougars have really grinded here, bringing it back to a five-point lead while allowing Guilford to score as well as making buckets of their own. So now be Baldwin inbounding here to Milton. Milton now brings it up the right side. Pass to Lewis. Lewis now has a dribble drive. Pulls it back out. Pass to Paulden. Paulden pass to Milton. Mismatch here. Milton drives. Tries to find an open man. It's up, and Ward comes down with it, pushing the ball down the floor, picked up by Lewis. Good pass there to get it back to point guard. That will be Logan. Paul did not Logan on the left side. Looks like it'll be Ward on the outside trying to post up Lewis. Good double team there as that one's off the mark. Seemed like there tried to be a put back dunk there by, I believe, Caleb Farish. Checking in now will be Birch and Deerman for Guilford. And I believe it'll be Guilford's ball under the basket. Seems to be a wet spot on the floor. You know, a wet spot on the floor is probably one of the most dangerous things in basketball, running full speed and just having your legs fly out from under you is a scary sight, I'll tell you that. Good inbound play there by Guilford, finding Deerman under the basket wide open without a single Cougar around him. Guilford now leads by seven with about a minute to go here in the first. This will be Lewis. Baldwin now. Back to Lewis. Good ball movement here by the Cougars. Lewis now has that top of the key. Pulls up from deep. That'll be off the mark. Had to get it to go for the shot clock. That'll be off the hands of Guilford. Good hustle there by Birch, but that one will be out of bounds. Cougars are now retained possession with 20 seconds to go on the shot clock and 56.5 left in the quarter. Lewis now has at the top of the key, about a 30-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Good pull up there from Baldwin. Good rebound there by Paulden as he passes it right back in bounds. They now have numbers. Good defense there as Lewis comes down to the foul. Clock stops at 38.5. Believe the foul was on Deerman. Excuse me. Foul was on Lewis to Deerman with the and one. Now taking a shot at the line. It's pretty a great opportunity for Guilford. As the foul shot is in. They now lead by 10. About a 10 second difference between the shot clock and the game clock as Milton has it on the left side. Paulden is fighting Ward at the top of the key, trying to get that space. Milton for three off the front iron. Must be Ward now bringing the ball up the court. 
And the shot clock will be turned off. There's 15 seconds left here in the first half. Guilford now trying to run a play. This will be Gore driving in for the layup off the mark. Lewis now with three seconds left, dribbling it down. One second. I believe that was up and Ward called for a I'm not really sure what that was. I believe it was defensive goaltending, but I'm not 100% sure. But at the half, your Cougars falling to Guilford 33-25, to and we'll be back at the second half.
All righty, coming back from the break, you are watching the Avery University Sports Network. I am Jake Braun, and I have some halftime stats here for you. In the first half, Guilford shot 58.3% from the field while shooting 60% on the dot from three. That's a great percentage right there. While the Cougars are also shooting 36% from the field as well as 357 from the three. The Cougars have put a lot more shots up here than Guilford, but Guilford has produced a lot more. Uh, I will say that the Cougars are being very productive on getting up and down the court, getting, you know, on offense and on defense, trying to play their game at fast paced, getting their momentum going type of basketball tonight while Guilford is taking it slower, just playing into the way the Cougars are playing and finding open baskets, and they are not missing. This team is just going absolutely cra crazy with Ward, and I believe it's Deerman. Both have around 10 or 11 points each, really carrying this team under the basket, especially getting the second opportunity chance on every possession. But for the Cougars, Baldwin is absolutely balling out with 11 points, as well as Raul has five. Great job by them. You know, hopefully Corey Baldwin will keep hitting just, just as he did in the first half. As he now has it here at the top of the key. It's going to be a pass to the corner to Lewis. Lewis, good pump fake there. It's be Lewis again, <laughs> driving to the rim. That one's off the mark as Ward grabs a rebound. A little tussle there and a rip through. And this will be... Excuse me. That was Logan in the corner off the mark. And that was Farmer. As Ward grabs offensive rebounds once again. And that will be Gore from the top of the key. 4-3, and it's good. Rough start here for the Cougars. Missing a layup and then coming down and not getting too far back on defense. Lewis now passes to Baldwin. Baldwin has it at the top of the key. Dribble drive, mid-range shot is good. Baldwin putting up shot just like he should be. Like I said earlier, absolutely killer from mid-range extended. There's Cougars now on defense. It'll be Deerman bringing the ball up the floor. Pass there to Farmer. Trying to find Ward under the basket. Great defense there by Jordan Lewis. Excuse me, Keyshawn Lewis under the basket. As Ward goes up for that one and gets him off his feet, and that is good. So now it'll be Jordan Lewis bringing the ball down the floor. The sophomore guard now passes to Rowell. Dribble drives, trips himself up. Able to get the ball back, tussling on the floor, and that will be called a jump ball. This will be in favor of Guilford, and Guilford will retain the possession. Great job there by Roland. Excuse me, Rao and I believe it was Paulden on the floor for the Cougars getting down and dirty, trying to force that jump ball or just get the ball back to get an offensive possession. Cougars now here on defense. Dribble drive here. I believe that was Farmer tried to put spin on it, tried to get it to go in. Great rebound there by Paulden. Ball bought down by Jordan Lewis. Baldwin now has it on the right side of the court. And Paulden will try to get through, but I believe that was Birch that just tripped over himself and fell down on the ground. And Paulden is now called for the offensive foul. This is now passed in here to Gore. Gore asking a screen from Birch. Great defense here by the Cougars. Ward now has a dribble drive here on Lewis, trying to go up for the post move. And it's hit off the arm there, as Lewis is not too happy with that call. I want to talk to the ref, trying to figure out what he did wrong, as Ward now hits the line to shoot two. And the first one is good there by Ward. Uh, 
As the Cougars will now take possession after Ward's second make. Score now sits at 40 to 27. Cougars really got to push through here and stop them on defense and start making some buckets here on the offensive side of the court. Good pass there from Lewis to Lewis. Baldwin now rounds the corner at the top of the key. Is rolled Paulin, excuse me. Rao now with the floater short. Good rebound there by Paulin. Back up with it off the back of the glass and in. Paulin in there, great two-point score there. Cougars got to slow them down here on defense as that one is dished inside to Ward and up and down with it with the dunk is Ward. Like I said earlier, the Cougars really have to focus on stopping that man. As this one is out of bounds. And I believe that was Francis. Excuse me, that was Deerman. And the Cougars will now have possession on the sideline. But like I was saying just a second ago, Ward is absolutely killer on defense and on offense under the basket. You give him enough room, then he'll just take it from you all day. As this one is now into Sellers in the right corner. Back to Lewis. Lewis now takes control at the top of the key. Rao now comes get it, comes and gets it. Top of the key to Sellers. Baldwin now has it. Drives baseline. Blocking foul there. That will be on Logan, the soft, excuse me, the senior guard out of North Wikesboro, North Carolina. Inbound to Lewis. Lewis now takes over Rao Rao. Now drives to the middle of the key with the floater once again. And that one is good. Rao doing a fantastic job tonight driving the paint and going up for the score. Cougars just have to play offensive. Excuse me. Aggressive defense here. Trying to get a steal or a stop here on Guilford. This one's taken in the paint off the rim. Gets his own rebound and up, and there will be a foul called. Great job there by Deerman, getting through everybody, trying to box out. Able to get his own rebound and up for it. Missed, but draw the foul. I believe that foul was on Jason Sellers, the second. The sophomore forward out of Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, Page High School. As Deerman's second shot is good. Deerman out of Southern Guilford High School. Doing an excellent job on the offensive and defensive side of the floor tonight. This one's tipped out to Lewis. Lewis in the corner for three. That one's off the back iron and Tried to pick up there by Sellers, but unable to handle that one. So Ward now has it. They have numbers. This one's kicked out to Gore. Back inside to Ward. Ward with the quick spin over Rowell. And that one's in. The height advantage was there. A little mismatch, under, mismatch underneath. Excuse me. Cougars now have possession. This will be Rowell in the corner. Another floater. That's his specialty. And it's in. Cougars now... Deficit now is by 12 in favor of Guilford. The Cougars start to play more defense here. Get a few more stops. They'll be right back in this thing in a matter of minutes. So Ward now back up with it once again. Unable to stop that man underneath. Long and lengthy and unstoppable so far. So now Lewis. Pass the row around the corner. Trapped there. Lewis. Sellers up top. Baldwin on the left side. Good pass there to Sellers. Sellers spin move. I believe he lost a hand on it. No whistle, but I believe a foul was called. I believe there was no foul, but out of bounds on Guilford. It'll be Averitt's ball, and we will go do a commercial break, and we'll be right back. I think Averitt's a special place because of the camaraderie amongst everybody. Uh, I feel like it's a lot of friendships that won't be broken throughout my life. And it gave me a chance to uh, show my abilities in wrestling and in the classroom.
All righty, as we come back from the break, my name is Jake Braun, and you're here watching the Avery University Sports Network. Guilford now leaves Averitt by 15 points here. Excuse me, 14 points. And, you know, it's been back and forth here in the second half. Going into halftime, it was a lead by 10 for Guilford. But the Cougars have really come, come far and battled back, trying to figure out how to stop Guilford in that being Ward and uh, Deerman, absolutely destroying the glass and the second chance points as well as post scoring. This will be Lewis now inbounding. This will be a pass to Baldwin, mid-range from the side. That one falls short. Good shot attempt there, though, from Baldwin. Lewis now picking up heavy defense here on Davis. Davis dishes it off to Gore. Gore now looking, surveying the floor. Sides the drive middle. Trips and falls over himself. Baldwin on the ground. Little lob there from Davis up to Ward as Cougars were down a few, excuse me, down a few players from the attempt for diving on the floor for that open ball. As Milton now hands it off to Lewis. Good screen there by Sellers. Kicks it over to Baldwin on the left side. Baldwin now dribble drives. Has some room. And that will be a foul called on Baldwin. Gave the post defender there a little too much shoulder as he falls down and flops. And that one will be Guilford's ball. Good defense here by the Cougars picking up full court. So now be Gore at the top of the court. Good pass there to Logan. Back to Gore, to Ward for three. And that one is good. Ward now doing it all tonight on the glass, on the post scoring, and now from the three. To be Milton now on the left side. Pass it to Baldwin, Baldwin now. Pass it to Lewis, Lewis drives. Through the fingers of, I believe that was Sellers the second. And that will be a foul now on Milton. Checking in for the Cougars now is Paulton. Huge big man down there for the, Q for the Cougars, getting those offensive boards and on the post-scoring side of things. Great steal there by Milton. Able to punch it back out to Lewis. Lewis now drives down, draws the foul, and one for Lewis. Amazing play there. Really trying to shift that momentum here for the Cougars. I believe the foul was on Jalen Gore, his first. And the shot by Lewis is good. Looks like Guilford will try to inbound this one quickly, quickly, but come to find they have no numbers on the court. Milton playing excellent defense here on the freshman Proc Proctor. Dishes it off to Gore. Gore now has it at half court. Trying to get past Lewis, but Lewis is just a little bit too quick for him. Good help there, defense by Paulton. Sellers a second, really working hard into that basket. Pull-up shot there from Logan is good. Good little dribble drive there with a Hezzy. Able to pull it back in the paint for two. Milton now passes to Sellers. Sellers at the top of the key, passes to Baldwin. Baldwin now spins, drives to the paint, looks over. This will be Lewis now, Lewis driving with the foul. Ooh, too hard off of the back iron. But that will draw a foul, and there will be two shots now coming at you from Lewis. Lewis not being the tallest or the biggest guard, sitting at 5'10", 160, but my goodness, he is quick, and he gets it done. Really doing a great job dribble driving and, you know, just throwing Guilford off their feet. And as you saw there, he went up and got fouled hard, but he popped right back up. 
Great job by him. Just trying to, you know, get this momentum back in the favor of Averitt, trying to get them back in their swing of their game. I feel like a huge momentum shift here for Averitt is just to get a few stops here on defense without Guilford even getting a chance to look at the basket. So now we Gore at the top of the key, about at half court. Now passes to Deerman. Deerman to the post. Post shot is missed there by Folks. Lewis now has the ball on the right side of the court. Surveying the floor, and he will dribble drive and draws another foul, just like we talked about the play before. Jordan Lewis, the sophomore guard, doing it all tonight, really just being the point guard that they need right now. And that will cause a timeout here by Guilford. That will be, I believe, a full timeout, and we will be back after the break. Being a student athlete here has definitely pushed me to do things that I have not been able to do in the past. Um, because of my team, I have opened up more socially and they have pushed me to be a better athlete and a better student. And I wouldn't be who I am today if it weren't for them. All righty, and we are back from the break. My name is Jake Braun, and you're joined here on the Avery University Sports Network. Looking back at the first half stats, if you look at this game, it's really not a big factor between makes and misses right now. The Cougars are shooting around a 50% from about everywhere on the floor, while Guilford's shooting around 60%. Uh, I feel like the biggest, the biggest momentum stopper in going for either team is turnovers and steals. While Guilford has 11 turnovers and eight steals, the Cougars have 13 turnovers and six steals. If the Cougars could really convert those turnovers into points and into makes, either from the three, the foul line, or just from a layup, it puts them real close here in this, this game. As Lewis is now shooting two foul shots here, and the first one is up and good. Another big momentum swing for the Cougars. They are shooting a better percentage than Guilford at 66%, while Guilford is at 50%. Lewis' second shot drops, and good hard defense coming right out of it is Lewis. Picking up full court, trying to get a screen here is Gore. Gore now surveying the floor pass to Deerman, excuse me. Burge pass to Gore. Gore now has it at the top of the key. Looking for Ward. Ward on that left side. Looking for a post move. Here he comes. Down in the paint. Up off the backboard and in. Anytime Ward gets the ball in his hands, it becomes very dangerous. This is now me. Milton passes the Baldwin. Great pass there from Baldwin to, I believe, that was Paulden. Yes, it was. Amazing pass there from Baldwin, really splitting the defense. And a great finish there by Paulden. It's Proctor now has that top of the key, passes to Gore. Gore trying to get that defense off their feet. As Ward tries to be too fancy with it and go up on the right side of the basket. Now one will be off the mark. This will now be Lewis. Lewis passes to Milton. Milton now deep to Baldwin. At the top of the key, that one's off the mark. That was Sellers a second. And I believe that will be Milton on the foul, trying to get the aggressive rebound there, fighting for it, but I believe it was just too much pressure. Now checking in for Guilford is Jordan Davis, and for Averin it will be Keyshawn Davis. Keyshawn Lewis, excuse me. Bringing the ball on the court now is Gore, the point guard for Guilford. Passes it there to Deerman. Deerman now drives. 
Tries to go up with it. Good defense there. From Sellers. Gore now has it at the top of the key with 15 remaining. Deerman with the pump fake. Dribble drive. Great defense there by Sellers. Ward gets the rebound. Second chance opportunity up and in. Now it's going to be Lewis trying to drive. Good pass there to Sellers. Sellers underneath. Pass to Lewis. Back out to Milton. Milton for three. Off the back iron. I believe that's going to be an over-the-back foul there on Birch over Sellers. And the ball is going to stay under the basket. Cougars still have possession with about 16 seconds left on the shot clock. Now Rao checking in for Milton. Lewis now inbounds to Lewis. Back to Lewis. Dribble drive here. Goes up with it strong. And that one's good. A lot of pressure there. Good contest there by Guilford player. But Jordan Lewis just too much for him and puts it in. Good move there by... I believe that was Birch, but just off. Great steal there by Davis. Cougars going a little bit too fast pace. This will be Deerman now, passes to Gore. Gore now drives right side, up with it, and in. Gore getting his first layup of the game. That was a good, good take there. This will now be Lewis on the left side. Able to split the defender, get up with the shot, but it's no good. But there was a foul called on the floor. I believe that was number zero, Jordan Davis for Guilford. Excuse me, apparently it was not on the floor and he got it on the shot. Now he will be shooting two. Oh, I was actually wrong twice. It was on the floor, but that was a one and one shot against Guilford. And Davis's first, Lewis's first one is good. For a second one's off the front iron. A little tussle there for the rebound, but Adel, able to come up with it is Guilford. As Gore now brings the ball down the court. Pass there to Farmer. Excuse me, Deerman. Gore now drives. It'll be a kick of the ball there by Lewis. Inbounded now by Guilford. Out to Gore. Hard there by Rowell. Deerman now has a good defense there. By Paulden now up the court to Baldwin. Baldwin now, no numbers for him there. Pulls up mid-range. That one's off the front iron. Out of the hands of Paulden. And out of bounds. Looks like there will be a timeout here by the Cougars. Uh, the score is now 60-44 to 44 in favor of Guilford. Cougars not having much momentum going in here to this late second half, but we will be right back after the break. I think being a student athlete impacts my overall experience a lot, just gaining a brotherhood with my teammates and then uh, with all the other teams, a big connection throughout all of athletics and makes it fun to walk around campus and see everyone you know and everyone comes out and encourages you at games, so it makes it a really fun environment.
All righty, and welcome back after the break. My name is Jake Braun, and you're watching the Avery University Sports Network. Tonight's matchup is the Avery University Cougars bringing you Guilford here in the Grant Center at Avery University. Cougars currently trail by 16 points with 7 minutes and 52 seconds left to go here in the second half. Cougars haven't had a lot of current momentum going on throughout the game, but little bursts here and there. As Ward and Dearman have absolutely been killing it on the offensive side. As Dearman now throws a lob up and good. A dunk there by number 13, Caleb Farish, the freshman, a 6'8 forward. Really got up on that one. This will be Davis now to Corey Baldwin. Baldwin for three off the front rim. No good there. Davis now brings it up the right side. Pass there to Gore. Davis now has it. He will now dribble drive. Little push off there. I believe there is a walk called there on Davis. And what seemed to be a major flop there by Ward as he got a little hand on the chest and went down awful quick. Pretty big dude to be going down against 5'10 guard. But Milton now brings the ball up the court. Pass off to Baldwin. Baldwin now has it at the top of the key. Pass to Lewis. Lewis now gives it back to Baldwin. Baldwin to Rowell. Rowell to Milton. Milton now has it. Dribbles to the baseline. Can't find anything there. Tries to get a pass over to Rowell over the top of the key there and is picked up by Gore. Gore now has it bringing the ball up the court. Dribble drive there as there's a foul called. It seemed like he was completely plucked there, but I believe that's going to be a one and one. Foul goes against Baldwin, his second. And I believe it will be Gore shooting two. Borbua Watson now checks into the game for the Cougars. That's number 44 as Gore's first shot is good, which will now give him the second chance. And that one is good as well. Guilford now takes a 20-point lead over the, here, over the Cougars here with 6 minutes and 30 seconds left in the second half. Cougars need to build up some momentum as Milton goes up. Good kick out there to Rowell. Rowell open for three. Bang! That one's good from Rowell. As the Cougars now will take a 30-second break and we'll be back after the timeout. All righty, welcome back from the timeout. Let's take a look at that replay, a three-pointer there by Rao. Great shot. Won the best pass below his feet, but he came up there. Absolutely firing, able to find the bottom of the net. Hopefully that put a little momentum here in the Cougars. Get some blood pumping in their arms and their legs and getting them going on the court. Cougars brought their deficit down now to 17 points. I believe. After this game, stick around as your Cougars will be taking on Pfeiffer University here in the Grand Center at 7 o'clock. So stick around and don't miss that after this one. We got Ward inbounding now for Guilford. Pass in there. 
to Deerman. Deerman now has the ball, bringing it up the court. Good defense there by Baldwin. And this will now be Gore. Gore to Deerman. Good pit, pump fake there. Up for the floater. Ton of contact there on the freshman. Farish, but there's nothing called. This will now be Milton at the top of the key. Finds Lewis. Ball went in the corner. Ball went out, dribbles it out. Good pass there to Rao. Rao for three again. Bang! Rao absolutely lighting it up, making it work. Seems like there will be a full timeout here by the Cougars. And we'll be back after the break. For me, it was important to leave home and experience new cultures and uh, travel while I'm young, um, before I settle down, um, and be comfortable in my own skin. And every university has really helped me develop as a person and be more outgoing. All righty, welcome back to Avery University Sports Network. My name is Jake Braun, and we're going to look at this replay real quick. Another three there by Rao, really going crazy from the arc tonight. It's really the energy the Cougars need. Now the deficit's now down to 14 points. I feel like the biggest momentum change the Cougars can have here is just absolutely shutting down Guilford on defense and making a lot of it. going to be Guilford's possession under the Averitt basket here. Averitt will be picking up full court man. Seems to be no trap, but there will be screens from Ward as Gore now has the ball. Milton picks up a foul there as Gore goes down. Seems to be tripped up there by Milton. That will be a this will be a one and one opportunity here for Gore once again. And the second shot is good there by Gore. Cougars got to work productively here, coming down the court. So now be Lewis at the top of the key. Good screen there by Watson. It's pass to Lewis. Lewis drives back to Lewis. Good shot there, fading away. Rebound by Dearman. Dearman looking down the floor. Good hustle back by Lewis to get to that man. Jordan Lewis now picking up defensively. Middleton now on ball. Lewis now good defense there. Ward up. Second chance opportunity, third chance opportunity and in. Ward not being boxed out tonight. Able to get a lot of opportunities under that basket. So now be Milton. Passing into Lewis. Lewis on the outside. Rowell now looks to dribble drive. Tripped up there by Deerman. And the foul is called. This will be one and one for. Excuse me. This will now be one and one opportunity here. For fair. Rowell's first shot is good. And it looks like Sellers, a second, will be checking back in the game for the Cougars. Oh. 
And the second one is good there from Rowell. Guilford now brings the ball up the court. This will be Ward now bringing the ball down the court for Guilford. Deerman now dribble drives. Layup is up and good. Cougars not even stepping in the way, trying to do anything there. As Milton now has it. Good decision there by the Cougars, but kind of there, intercepted there by Ward, but out of bounds. Will be another timeout here on the floor. Cougars now, excuse me, Guilford now leads 70 to 52, and we'll be back right after the break. Being a student athlete and an aviation major uh, was actually a huge plus for me in deciding to come to Averitt. I looked into multiple schools, hundreds of schools actually, and um, Averitt just felt like home to me as soon as I stepped foot on campus. Um, as soon as I stepped foot in the airport and when I got on North Campus, it was just a great feeling. Um, very home-like feeling, especially being so far away from home, me being from Houston, Texas. I felt like it was amazing being able to kind of see the atmosphere that they had built here and the family and uh, really the community that they built here. You know, it really feels like you're being in a, in a, in a big neighborhood, kind of. Um, I really enjoy uh, my time here at Avery so far. And it, one of the biggest reasons that I picked Avery was because of me being able to do both being a student athlete and also uh, being able to fly planes. That's one of my, one of my, I think, favorite things to say to anybody when they ask me what my collegiate experience has been like. Um, I could definitely say, you know, I've been flying planes and playing football. There's not too many people in the country that could say that. Alrighty, as we come back from the break, my name is Jake Braun, and you're watching the Avert University Sports Network. And you're watching Guilford here at Averett. As Baldwin for three, right off the money, and bang, it's in. Great execution there on the inbound there from the Cougars. This ball is now bought down by Deerman. Pass there to Gore, back to Deerman. Deerman now drives. Open layup, and it's up and in. Good shot there by Deerman. Cougars now bring the ball down the court. This will be Lewis. Lewis now dribble drives. Rowell for three. Off the mark there. Good try there for the rebound by Sellers. This ball's back to Deerman. Deerman now bringing the ball up the floor. It's going to be a kick, call, kick ball violation there caught on Rowell as he had to jump up on the fake pass there. And it's, the ball's caught up in his feet. Checking in now for Guilford is Chance Townsend, the senior guard at Jonesville, North Carolina. Excuse me, Reedsville, North Carolina. As well as for the Cougars, Bryce Shaw, the freshman guard out of Virginia Beach. Also now will be Gore driving. Passes to Deerman. Deerman fumbles it. Loses it. And I believe the foul. I believe the foul was called on Caleb Coleman. The freshman who just checked into the game. The freshman guard out of Charlotte, North Carolina, standing at 6'1", 170. Good possession there. Try to get the steal away from the Guilford player, but just too much contact as Farman, excuse me, Deerman, drops the first one. And the second shot for Deerman is good. B. Sellers now to inbound to Milton. Milton now dribbling the ball down the court. Surveying the floor, looking for an open man. This is Watson at the top of the key. Coleman now has it. Pass it to Sellers. Sellers back to Shaw. Shaw now drives. 
Coleman for three off the front iron. Good shot selection there as he was found wide open on the left side of the key there. Shaw now sits down on defense. There's a little sloppy game work there by Townsend, the senior, but it'll be off the hands of, I believe that was Ward and out of bounds and Abert will grab the possession. Checking in now is Will Leckenby, excuse me, Will Leckenby from Salisbury, North Carolina, the senior. As Watson tried to go up with that one, and it is stripped and out of bounds, but they will maintain possession. Cougars are now down by 19. He with two minutes to go. Milton trying to find somebody open. Watson at the top of the key is open. Milton pulls up for three. That one a little long there off the back of the rim and out of bounds off the hand, I believe, Watson. And Guilford will now have the inbound. Pass there to Lackenby. Back to Dearman. Dearman now drives on Coleman. Lackenby for three. That one's off the mark. Good rebound there by Watson. And Shaw now has the ball, bringing it up the court. A little Euro step there and comes up short. It'll be Dearman now for Guilford. Passes it off to Gore. Gore now brings the ball up the court. Gore passes to Lackenby. Lackenby. Back to Gore. Gore now surveying the floor. Ward for three. Off the mark. No box out there on Dearman. Dearman able to find it. As there is now a timeout here by Guilford with a minute and eight seconds left. And we'll be back after the break. I think Averitt's a special place because of the camaraderie amongst everybody. Uh, I feel like it's a lot of friendships that won't be broken throughout my life. Seems to be no timeout there as we come back from the little break we had. Seemed just to be a timeout for a sub. And his farm, excuse me, Deerman is off the mark with the layup. Shaw now dribbles the ball down the court. This would be Coleman for three. Bang! And that one is good. Caleb Coleman with his first points of the game. The freshman guard out of Charlotte, North Carolina, I believe. Great steal there by Shaw. Shaw on the floor, getting down and dirty, able to get the steal. Coleman now driving, kicks it back out. Shaw at the top of the key, kicks back to Coleman. Coleman now surveying the floor. This is the Milton, Milton for three. Bang! Milton hitting another three late in this game with 24 seconds to go. Seems like Guilford's gonna draw out the clock. As Zern passes there to Deerman. Deerman's going to dribble it out. There is no shot clock. Milton goes for the steal. Oh, able to come up with that one. Out of the hands, up for three. Time winding down. There's now exactly five seconds on the, shot, on the clock, excuse me, as the Cougars gain possession. You know, fantastic work here by both teams, Guilford and the Cougars. The Cougars do come up falling a little short. But uh, good defense possession there by Guilford, but way to get back there was Shaw. And that will be the game, folks. Guilford won 74 to 61. The Cougars now drop to 0 and 4 on the season. And their next game will be Shenandoah here in the Grant Center on the 28th. Stick around, grab a snack, grab something to drink. The ladies game starts at 7 o'clock, and we'll see you then.